weren't hitting it in your face. This is Christopher Green here. No, I'm joking. Sorry. Sweet, man. That was all, that was all, I, I was actually going to ask him to do that. I had to. I love that slogan. I need a slogan myself. You Honor, pleasure to be on your show. Love AMTV. They do really great work. Thank you so much, man. No you do really great work. That's Luke, awesome. we are change. We need to come up with a tagline, man. I know, I know, do you have anything top of mind? Like, Nothing, you know, no. world traveler? It's, it's or, usually yeah. just like, uh, subscribe. Yeah, we need your help and support. What tagline I should have, let me know in the comment section below of this video, and I will use it. At least for one of the videos. You make it really weird, and it's the top one on the comments, I will use it. I promise. Just at right. least once. Sweet. Tur t turkey, turkey, big, big breaking story. We yeah. put out a couple of videos today. People are like, Christopher, why aren't you talking about turkey? I'm like, well, because the video is coming out today. We recorded yesterday, and then we had to render them. It took like three hours. We had to post thumbnails, do all that work, et cetera. So you covered some of this today, yeah. I think, on your channel. What are your thoughts? I mean, this is a massive change, upheaval potentially in the Middle East. You think this was expected by the Obama administration? Is this a surprise? Yeah. I don't think anyone expected this uh, right now from all the initial reports that I've been seeing right now um, it looks like the coup may not even be successful um, it looks like it's a portion of the military and there's reports of of course you know tanks on the streets the airports being closed down no flights coming in there's a report of a f-16 shooting down a helicopter it's military fighting military it's protesters fighting protesters there's one uh, you know, section of the town which is really pro uh, Enderon, and the other portion is really get rid of him. We finally had this coup d'état. But what we're seeing right now is the Obama administration just came out in support of, of uh, the president of Turkey, who is an autocrat. You look at what he did throughout his rule. It is horrendous and horrible. He has abused the power that was given to him. He has tortured people. He has imprisoned people. He has fabricated evidence. He has censored the internet. He has censored online freedom. He has censored any form of expression or criticism against him. And he's ruling with an iron fist. The military made a statement, the portion of the military that did this coup d'etat. They're, they're, they're saying that they're doing this uh, for the rule of law. And they feel like Andoran really just went way far and above and really hurt Turkey. And we're seeing that. We're seeing the remnants of that because Turkey was the major uh, purchaser of ISIS oil, illegal oil that they were buying cheap from ISIS. They opened up the borders. They allowed ISIS to get in there. Uh, they allowed the foreign fighters to come through Turkey to get it into Syria to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. They were doing this mainly for a number of different reasons to get rid of Bashar al-Assad inside of Syria, which was their main goal. So because it hasn't happened yet, but they, that's what they want to happen. Of course, it's a lot of you know Western forces pushing, and and we have to understand this is huge important news. Hillary Clinton even admitted we confronted her. Uh, representatives, her, their spokespersons, I even confronted Hillary herself. I was like, you guys started ISIS. Hillary yeah, Clinton exactly. even admitted it. Admitted all it. CIA. -ta. Exactly. And we're seeing all these ramifications blow up in everyone's face, order out of chaos. We're seeing what just happened in Nice. We're seeing what happened at the Turkish airport. And I think, really, a lot of people in Turkey, I think this portion of the military, this is at least my analysis, this is just breaking. So we haven't really evaluated all the evidence as it's still breaking. But from my point of view right now, uh, Enderon focusing all of his forces, all of the military against the Kurds, allowing ISIS to, to thrive, supporting ISIS, financing them, giving them weapons and arms, is blowing up in their face. They went after Russia because Russia was destroying the oil pipeline that ISIS created, that Turkey was buying all the cheap oil, with the president's son being involved in that, almost caused a global war in that entire region. And I think a lot of people inside of Turkey are like, holy crap, we financed our enemy who's bombing our airports right now. This is enough. And uh, we've seen Turkey within the last few weeks trying to better relations with Israel, going to Russia and saying sorry for destroying and bombing your warplane that flew over, what was it, 30 seconds or not even yeah, not right. over the thing and almost created a global conflict. So um, I think maybe the president of Turkey saw this coming. Um, there's also a lot of Turkish government officials who are spending money with U.S. lobbyists and U.S. law firms trying to have good relations with the United States. Obama right now is in support of the president who uh, the military is going up against. So I think this is very random. I think this wasn't expected. I don't think there's a bigger play here, but we're going to see how the events unfold and we're going to be covering it live on our YouTube channel like we always do as is breaking. As soon as I heard this, I ran up to my room looking, fact check and everything, and I just released you know, two videos today on this very important topic. Well, one yeah. thought I had was, you know, how is Russia linked to this potentially? I mean, could Putin be you know, behind helping this coup? which kind of seems like 
a major, major shift yeah. in the Middle East, which is a shit show, by the way, thanks to Obama and arguably thanks to Bush, too. I mean, Putin is um, trying to restore relations with Turkey, and they have been in the process of doing that lately. Turkey also is in a very powerful position with that canal that runs from the Black Sea into the Mediterranean, uh, and they could shut off Russian supplies that are going into Syria right now at any moment, at any time. They haven't done so because it's mutual annihilation. They know if they go after each other, they're going to mutually destroy themselves. So you see them kind of back off. The tension is still there. As far as Putin's involvement, I don't know how he would be involved. I don't know if he would help him. I'm not seeing any form of evidence providing this, but obviously a weaker Turkey helps him because Turkey is one of the key countries standing in the way of Syria and of destroying ISIS.